This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Domain.com. It's a brave new world, folks. Last week, Microsoft took the wraps off their latest wearable, or I guess really their only headset wearable, HoloLens. I wanted to talk about what I think about it and how it compares to Google Glass. So, would eh? you like to get started? So in case you've been living under a tech rock, or I don't know, maybe you just didn't have any interest, Microsoft last week unveiled something called HoloLens. And what HoloLens essentially is, it is a wearable headset that is a full standalone computer. You don't have to tether it, you don't have to need a separate PC, or don't need a smartphone uh, attachment that essentially projects holograms. And we're not just talking like old school holograms that you used to see on like the Virtual Boy type stuff. We're talking like real deal, help me Obi-Wan, you're our only hope. Uh, type holograms and the opportunity for this I think could really be incredible and of course when I saw HoloLens I immediately thought about Google Glass. Uh, some would call it a failed experiment but I respect Google for putting it out uh, albeit the utility might not have been there. So 50 under bucks to buy a pair of Explorer Google Glass. What that did was kind of augment the world around you. Tiny little screen uh, over one eye. Where I think it, uh, HoloLens differs is this is the opportunity to augment the entire world around you, not just one part. So they talked about first playing games, this is an incredible thing. They showed Minecraft, of course, uh, and kind of other gaming opportunities that you can do. I think people are getting used to wearing headsets about the same size as the current Oculus headset out there. Of course, you look a little bit silly, uh, but I think the opportunities for what this can do uh, are really incredible. So hear me out before you judge it. First, if you have opinions about Microsoft, push those aside and judge the product on its own merits. First, I do not think this is going to be vaporware, but until you can buy one in the stores, developers get their hands on it, uh, that has yet to be seen. So I think there can be a couple of things that could really meet with this. First, education. Uh, imagine they talked about astronauts being able to pretend like they're visiting Mars, but I'm imagining doctors. Uh, performing surgeries, being able to learn how to perform those surgeries to make sure they are better physicians and we're safer when we go to the hospital. Uh, if you're reading about the Revolutionary War in school, you could put on that headset and you could actually experience what it's like to be in the Revolutionary War. You could talk to Thomas Jefferson. And of course, the use that everybody's thinking about, I'm not gonna say it, but I'm sure those developers will be the first ones that are signing up for the developer kits. You know what it is? So the reason that VHS won, it's the reason that Blu-ray kind of won, and it's the reason that you're probably thinking about picking one of these HoloLenses up. So I wish I could holographically stop for a minute uh, and thank our peeps at Domain.com. They are the place to go when the next great idea hits you, even if it's like four in the morning and it wakes you up and you're like, I need that. Uh, it's a one-stop shopping for all your domain name and web hosted needs. So the list of available domain extensions is growing. It's not just .com, .org, and .net anymore. You now have the opportunity to name your site and build your brand in kind of cool ways you never could before. Choose from a growing list of over 200 plus domain names like .ninja, .nyc, .expert, .club. Uh, all are available now at domain.com. Who doesn't want a .ninja? Uh, the guys at Domain.com want to hook our fans up with a great offer. Save 15% on domain names and web hosting. We're going to use coupon code TECHNOBUFFALO. That's one word, TECHNOBUFFALO, at Domain.com checkout. Now back to the video. If you want to pick these up, though, that's a big question. What is this sucker going to cost? As I mentioned, it is a standalone computer with standalone computer parts. I would wager this is going to be very, very, very expensive. Uh, Google Glass with $1,500, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if this comes in at a retail price of around $3,000. But I think if Microsoft wants this to be successful, they'll get it in the hands of developers at a significant loss, uh, $1,000, $500, whatever that might be. The more developers get access to the technology, the more use it's gonna be. The easier it is to justify spending what I think is gonna be an exorbitant uh, consumer price here. Uh, other cool uses that I'm thinking about are ways to collaborate in meetings. You can see all of your Skype contacts. If you have people that work all over the country like we do at Techno Buffalo, you could talk to them, you could interact, you could see things that you couldn't see before. And also, come on, freaking holograms? I'm really excited to see this. I haven't been this excited for a product in a very, very long time. But like all things to get excited about, I could also be very disappointed. Uh, we don't know release window. Like I mentioned, they said sometimes around the release of Windows 10, so probably late this year, maybe early 2016. Of course, we don't know price. We don't know what developers are going to do with it. But I'm hopeful to be able to use it for more than just a Minecraft demo. Uh, it's easy Microsoft execs pretend to move around and build a quadcopter. I'm looking forward to it. Are you looking forward to it? Uh, were you burned by Google Glass? Now you're like, wearables on my head, I don't care about. I want to hear your thoughts, sir or madam. Leave them in the comments right down below. 
Till next time, John Renter from Tech New Buffalo. See you guys next video. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed. We love making tech videos here. If you like watching them as much as we love making them and just enjoy playing with the latest consumer electronics gear, check us out, hit the big subscribe button. We got new videos coming out almost every single day. We also have a channel on Twitch where we play games, oh, sometimes not so well, at twitch.tv slash technobuffalo.